Hello everyone, I'm Christy Lynn from ChristyLynnMusic.com and welcome to Harp Help where every Thursday we grow together in our musical journey as harpists. Today we're going to be talking about arranging for small harp. I recently got this electroacoustic harpsicle and I played at a wedding with it recently and so I had to rearrange a lot of pieces for the small harp that I would normally play on my bigger lever harp. And I had some other harpists asking me about how I go about rearranging pieces for small harp. So I thought I'd show you a little bit this week and I hope it's something helpful for you. To illustrate how I rearrange for small harp, I'm going to be using one of the pieces from this book, Angie Bemis's Unforgettable Theatre Treasures. This is one of my favorite books to play at weddings at the moment, and it was really helpful to take along this book and be able to just play through a lot of the pieces on the small harp. It just took a little bit of time for me to get my head around how I was going to rearrange things, and then I could play through all the pieces in the book. So I'm going to be using Beauty and the Beast, bars 5 to 12 to show you what I would do with it on the big harp, how to just play it straightforward, how it is in the music, and then how I would play it on the small harp, and what little techniques I'm using when I'm rearranging things for the small harp. So let's get started. So the first thing I do when rearranging this piece is I move the left hand up an octave because we don't have these notes on the harpsichord. We started up here instead, which is the bottom E flat on the harpsichord. Now we're going to have some problem with the left hand crossing over the right hand if we're not careful. So have a look at that. That's a problem because we have the left hand notes firstly clashing with the right hand so that we're trying to play the same note with, this, with the two hands and then also we sometimes have the harmony above the, the right hand melody which sounds a little bit funny with this arrangement. So what I do in those cases when we would be crossing over the two hands, I just simplify the left hand notes and leave out some of the notes and sometimes I just play them lower. So for the first bar, normally we would play Now that's just an E flat major arpeggio with an F in it. So instead I'm going to play, so I still have the F in the arpeggio in the left hand, but I'm keeping it nice and low so that when I add the right hand, it's not crossing over. For the second bar, we normally play B flat, F, B flat. And instead, I go back down for the second B flat and leave out the second F. So it's going to sound like this. Then for the next two bars, I'm actually doing the same thing with the left hand. It would normally be... And instead, I'm going to play the same as the first time. Then for the next few bars, I can actually leave the left hand as it was written originally, of course, but an octave higher, because the right hand is moving up more, so it's out of the way of the left hand and they won't be, have problems with crossing over. So I can keep the left hand the same. Except that last bar, of course, where I, instead of doing, 
I again did my B flat F B. And that's what I do throughout the piece. There's two main things I'm doing when I'm rearranging for small harp in this kind of piece. I'm moving the left hand up an octave and I'm simplifying where there would be problems with the right hand and the left hand crossing over and clashing or the left hand harmony becoming higher than the right hand. So I hope this video was helpful for those of you who are rearranging for small harp. Once you get your head around what you need to do, it's really not that difficult. You're basically just simplifying things and it's a lot of fun. When I travel with my harpsichord, it's really useful to be able to play a lot of pieces that I would normally play on my big harp without um, completely learning a new repertoire. So it's a really useful skill to get your head around. And if you're interested in Angie Bemis' book, there's a link down in the description box. I highly recommend this book. And in fact, I featured it in one of my latest live YouTube concerts. So I'll put a card where you can go and have a look at that concert. I played through some of my favorite pieces from this book. So you can go and have a look there. And maybe you'll want to purchase the book and play it on either your bigger harp or maybe on your small harp and exercise your rearranging for small harp skills. So I'll see you again next week Thursday. Thanks so much for watching and remember to subscribe if you'd like to be notified of new videos.